Botanical illustration is an art form that is thousands of years old. The intricate and accurate illustrations are more than just beautiful works of art. Botanical illustrators are tasked with translating botanical information into a visual language, one that is universally accessible and understood by highlighting the distinctive features of a plant species in remarkable detail. Where the plant material is alive, pressed, dried or floating in alcohol, botanical illustrators interpret, reimagine and perfect all plant specimens in their illustrations to support vital botanical research and make science beautiful. Hi, I'm Catherine Wardrop and this is Leslie Elkin. We're botanical illustrators at the Australian Institute of Botanical Science. We take great pride in continuing scientific botanical illustration that began at the National Herbarium of New South Wales at the Royal Botanic Garden, Sydney in 1901. We're now based at the new National Herbarium of New South Wales, a state-of-the-art facility that was built at the Australian Botanic Garden, Mount Annan, and opened to the public earlier this year. We welcome you to the new home of botanical science on the lands of the Darwell people in Sydney's southwest. We respectfully acknowledge the elders of the Darwell, Gadigal, Bidigal and Goringai people on whose lands we live and work. We are also the curators of the Margaret Flockton Award, which is now in its 18th year and is generously supported by the Foundation and Friends and the Maple Brown family. The Margaret Flockton Award recognises excellence in the international field of contemporary black and white scientific botanical illustration and pays tribute to Margaret Flockton. Born in England, Margaret was the garden's first staff illustrator and Australia's first female lithographer. From 1901 to 1927, Margaret was a giant in the field of Australian botanical illustration and worked closely with Joseph Maiden a botanist and director of the Royal Botanic Garden, Sydney from 1896 to 1924. She is particularly noted for her illustrating of the forest flora of New South Wales and her style is recognisable by her hallmark meticulous observation, flawless accuracy and a supremely elegant drawing style. This year we were thrilled to receive 74 entries from 52 artists across 21 countries for the Margaret Flockton Award. Illustrations were in a range of mediums, consisting mostly of ink works in line and stipple on paper. There was a notable increase in the number of skillfully rendered digital works, unusually with black backgrounds. And there was also a move away from works in pencil, perhaps because they don't generally reproduce as well in publication. The majority of entries were also scanned and cleaned at a publication standard, which was fantastic to see. The illustrators are really becoming fluent at every aspect of modern illustration right through to publishing. We want to thank everyone for taking the time to submit their illustrations to us and we applaud you for your efforts. It's now time to hand you over to the Chief Executive of the Royal Botanic Gardens and Domain Trust, Denise Aura, who will be doing the honours of announcing the recipients of this year's Margaret Flockton Awards. Thank you, Catherine and Leslie. You know, I am so honoured to be here today to announce the winners of this year's Margaret Flockton Award. Our judging panel comprised of the wonderful Leslie Elkin, Catherine Wardrop, and also our amazing Dr. Hannah McPherson, who is our Collections Manager at the National Herbarium of New South Wales. Now, as I announce each of the winners, you'll get to hear from Catherine and Leslie and their comments as judges. Um, I call them the smart people, and so that's why they should be judges. Now, without further ado, the first of the three highly commended awards goes to Claudia Bajoras from Portugal with her stunning digital render of Helichrysum Stokas. It is so beautiful and we are all very excited for you. So congratulations and well done. The contrast of pale foreground figures with black background really makes the features pop and the level of scientific detail was clear and sensitive without being unnecessarily overwhelming and clinical a challenge in particular for artists working digitally. The texture of the leaf surfaces and the little theatrically lit habit drawing were greatly appreciated by the judges. Congratulations, Claudia. The next recipient of the highly commended award goes to Hyujin Cho from the USA for her ink artwork of Agapanthus Africanus, the Blue Triumphator. This is a complex composition, deftly balancing maximum information with clarity of arrangement. All identifying features are interpreted with a natural informality rather than being overly stylistic. Scale bars, while numerous, are delicately arranged 
so as not to overwhelm the other information on the plate. Congratulations, Hu and Jin. The final highly commended award goes to Gustavo Solo Nascimento from Brazil for his ink artwork of Tenero species. Now, this is still undescribed, and so the official name is still under wraps. This carefully rendered illustration displays the artist's great skill in interpreting hairy subjects while avoiding any blocking in or overly dense ink sections. The form of the subject is still clearly understandable despite the overall hairiness of the plant. Composition flawless. Congratulations, Gustavo. Now the winner of the second prize and $2,000 goes to Hans de Vries from Greece for his ink artwork of a very delightful, fuzzy little plant, Bolotta pseudodictaminus. Congratulations. From the habit to the various magnified details, the artist has interpreted the texture of the different hairs superbly, whether dense and branching, slender and arching, or simple and clustered. Rendered on paper in ink, his technique required no corrections, with superb line work and subtle stipple supporting the forms a fascinating rendering that had the judges returning to it again and again. Congratulations, Hans. Now, drum roll for the final award, first prize, and $5,000 goes to Clay Souza from Brazil for his beautiful, flawless ink artwork of a new species of Hippiastrum. This is an outstanding result for a long-time entrant to the Margaret Flockton Award delicately rendered in ink on board with Klee's trademark restraint. The perfect line and stipple had the judges straining to find a flaw. The crucial white halos around foreground features help delineate form, avoiding confusion when layering different elements. With every essential aspect comprehensively rendered in fine stipple and with no superfluous information, Klee brings together scientific accuracy and an experienced artistic sensibility in this beautiful plate. Congratulations to all our amazing entrants and winners um, of this 2022 Margaret Flockton Awards. You know, plant blindness is real. And when we have these amazing illustrations to look at and we can talk about the stories, what it does is it helps us educate and enlighten individuals on the important aspects from environmental challenges facing all life on Earth, but also to understand species that are in crises, threatened or endangered. Um, it's been an absolute, absolute privilege to be able to announce the winners um, of a very important artwork. It's incredible. And so thank you so much. And I'm gonna hand you back to those very clever people, Leslie and Catherine. Thank you, Denise, and congratulations, Klee, Hans, Gustavo, Haiyan Jin, and Claudia. This year, everyone will be able to view the exhibition at our online gallery. You can view all of the amazing botanical illustrations submitted to this year's Margaret Flockton Award on the Royal Botanic Garden Sydney's Flickr account. Be sure to also check out the Margaret Flockton web pages on the Royal Botanic Garden Sydney's website, and please follow the Royal Botanic Garden Sydney on social media for more updates about the exhibition. Thank you and congratulations again.